Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the wizarding world of Harry Potter, Hogsmeade at Universal Orlando Resort. My name is Matthew Lewis and I played Neville Longbottom in the Harry Potter films and I am very excited to be talking with you all here today. Now this is where it all began back in 2010 when Universal Orlando first brought the adventures of Harry Potter to life. Now this entire area with Hogwarts Castle, the great rides, the great shops and restaurants has become a global phenomenon. Harry Potter's adventures are as popular as ever and now even more of his world is being brought to life. Today we're going to share with you some very exciting details about Universal Orlando's newest project, the wizarding world of Harry Potter Diagon Alley. Now this new area will be just as spectacular as where I'm standing right now and I personally can't wait to experience it. I've heard it's absolutely brilliant. So without further ado, let's get started. I'm thrilled to introduce Mark Woodbury, president of Universal Creative. Now he and his team have been very hard at work on Diagon Alley, the Hogwarts Express and so much more. So I'll pass you on to Mark and you might see a few of my old friends knocking about also. Mark? Thanks Matthew and welcome to our webcast. We have a lot of exciting news to share with you today. We are deep within the vaults of the Green Guts Bank and this is the perfect place for today's event. And I'm joined by some very special guests. We grabbed a couple families out of the park today and invite them in for the event. Welcome. This is a really exciting time for Universal Orlando. If you've been here, you know, and if you haven't, you definitely have to come. We have three great hotels, the Portofino Bay, the Hard Rock Hotel, and the Royal Pacific. City Walk is like none other, our downtown entertainment, dining, and shopping complex. Two fantastic theme parks, Universal Studios Florida and Islands of Adventure, and we are seeing spectacular growth across the entire destination with a singular goal in mind, and that is creating the most memorable vacation experiences for the whole family. Our new hotel, the Cabana Bay Beach Resort, is going to be our fourth hotel. 900 family suites and 900 guest rooms. It's a colorful throwback to a simpler time when families would pile into the station wagon and head out in search of the great American vacation, and that's exactly what they're going to find here. It captures the essence of these wonderful beachside resorts from the 1950s and 60s. Two great courtyards, each with its own giant pool, kids' play area, our first lazy river, a bowling alley, a crazy fitness center, spacious rooms. It's really colorful, really fun for the whole family, and a really great value. Universal City Walk is undergoing a major transformation. Eight amazing new venues, the best food in every category, from Neapolitan-style pizza, authentic Mexican food, sushi, burgers, and a whole lot more. There's something for everybody, day and night. Both our theme parks, Universal Studios Florida and Islands of Adventure, offer incredible experiences for the whole family. Last year, we opened Transformers to Ride 3D. This is a bigger than life experience that puts you right into the middle of the action. You can go into Springfield now, explore the downtown of this great Simpsons show, and enjoy the crazy antics of, uh, of that whole family of characters. And Despicable Me, Minion Mayhem is a hilarious romp and a great ride for the whole family. And now we're just months away from the opening of the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, Diagon Alley, where we'll bring even more Harry Potter adventures to life. And today we're going to share the story of Diagon Alley, which is going to open this summer. But before we do, here's a quick look at the Universal Orlando experience. <laughs>
You know, I could say it doesn't get any better than that, but it actually does. Let's talk a little bit about Diagon Alley. This is going to be an all-new, magnificently themed, expansive environment, a whole new level of storytelling and a theme park experience that is just beyond your wildest imagination. It's an all-new journey and an all-new adventure, and the only place in the world where these experiences come to life. It'll have an incredible attraction, great shops, food, and entertainment beyond belief. We're opening the Wizarding World of Harry Potter inside Islands of Adventure in 2010. When we, when, we, when we actually opened the Wizarding World of Harry Potter in Hogsmeade in 2010, I got that all backwards, we knew right away that we had created something unbelievably spectacular. The level of detail, the immersion, the sense of the, the telling of the story was just, you know, beyond what we could possibly have imagined. And we knew that we had revolutionized the entertainment experience with the major attraction. We also knew at that time that there are a lot more Harry Potter stories to tell straight from the fiction of J.K. Rowling and the Warner Brothers film. London and Diagon Alley are really important parts of those stories. This is the place where Harry Potter got his first wand. So many other great adventures took place on those streets. It's rich with magic, shops, and dining, and it'll be just as authentic as Hogsmeade. You know, we began working on the Wizarding World of Harry Potter and Diagon Alley, just like what we did in Hogsmeade. We went right to work with our partners at Warner Brothers and, of course, the great genius of Stuart Craig, Academy Award-winning production designer on all the films. And soon, you're going to be able to walk right through London into Diagon Alley to one of the most spectacular places you've ever seen. There's something else really unique about London and Diagon Alley. In the stories, London and Diagon Alley are a considerable distance from Hogsmeade and Hogwarts, and we wanted our guests to experience that journey. So. We decided to build Diagon Alley at Universal Studios Florida, which is right next door to Islands of Adventure, home of Hogsmeade. So soon, you're going to be able to ride the Hogwarts Express between both of these areas. It's a one-of-a-kind, two-park experience that will completely immerse you in the stories and books. Today, for the first time, we're going to share many of the details about Diagon Alley. We're also going to save a few things for later. Now, you met Matthew Lewis at the beginning of the webcast, and he'll be back in a moment. But let me introduce you to another special guest who's here to help us share the news with you. Here is James Phelps, who played Fred Weasley in all the Harry Potter films. James, you made it. That's it. How are you doing, man? Yeah, good, thank you. Thanks for coming out. Thank you for having me. You had a chance to go out to Diagon Alley yesterday? I did, yeah. Pretty amazing, huh? It was really cool. Um, although it was still a building site when we went out there, it was, you know, it, it was awesome. Um, we're just immersed in, in the land, and it was just a mind blowing. It really was. Yeah, the scale of it is in incredible. It's fantastic. Yeah, it really was. Um, yeah, you know, London and Diagon Alley are very key to the Harry Potter world, right. and so much so that when you see King's Cross Station in real life now, you automatically think Harry Potter, and it's, I guess it's where Harry first sees the Wizarding World, and that's what's really cool about that. So it's where the families go to get their wands, their Quidditch books, uh, the Quidditch supplies, yeah. their quills, everything like that. So it's a really cool place. It's where wizards hang out, where they shop, socialize. So it's really cool. And we also saw yesterday, which is true, it's where you actually see a, a darker side to the wizarding world in the Nocturne Alley. So that's pretty, pretty awesome. Wouldn't be complete without that. You know, we told you that our guests are going to be able to travel between London and Hogsmeade aboard the Hogwarts Express. And this journey is going to be incredible. It really served an important role in the stories. It provided the setting for Harry, Ron, and Hermione's first encounter. And we want to bring all that experience to life here at Universal Orlando. Guests with a park-to-park -park ticket would be able to board the train on the Hogwarts Express and travel between these two unique lands in a, in a totally seamless adventure that connects Diagon Alley to Hogsmeade. And my words won't do that train ride justice. So let's go to our senior vice president, of creative development, Terry Koo, who is on board the Hogwarts Express as we speak with a special guest. Terry? Thanks, Mark. I am so excited to give everyone this first ever look inside the Hogwarts Express. We haven't shown this to anyone yet. We wanted our guests to feel just like this step inside this very special train from the films. And so we created it just for them. As you can see, it is just like the film in every detail. And we've even added some surprises along the way that would really make this journey a fun adventure for everyone. Now, you will be able to board at either King's Cross Station or Hogsmeade Station. That's cool. And I have a special surprise for you. 
How are you, Ivana? How are you? Good, good. Great yeah. to be here. It's so great to have you here in the Hogwarts Express. I know, back again. Yeah, um, yeah and it really feels real, like even more real than the films to mm -hmm. me. If that, I know that sounds weird, but like on the films, we'd only have one carriage at a time and there'd be people rocking it outside, whereas <laughs> this is the whole carriage. and. Um, yeah, it just feels very immersive and, and like you are on the Hogwarts Express. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is totally real and authentic. We wanted to make sure that every detail is represented as it was in the films, but mm -hmm. it's complete. Yeah. And, uh, you know, the, because the Hogwarts Express played such a big part in the films, right? It did, I mean yeah, yeah, especially for Harry because he's leaving behind, like, symbolically and physically, he's leaving behind his life with the Dursleys. That's just sort of that old life when he's going to Hogwarts. And, and that's where he sees all his friends again, which is really exciting and like met a lot of them for the first time so in that sense it has a lot of history like he met Ron and Hermione here and actually in the books he met Luna here oh, that's so right, that's right. Yeah, yeah it it brings back a lot of memories and I mean I'm really excited to ride it again well we can't wait for you to ride and we can't wait for our guests to ride it in person back to you Mark thank you Ivana and Cherry we're going to be releasing a lot more information about the Hogwarts Express soon and you are surely going to be amazed at what you see all right, let's come back to Diagon Alley. But before we, before we do that, let's bring Matthew Lewis back on to join James and me. Matthew, come on out. You made it. Yeah, how you doing? Good how was the trip over from Hogsmeade? Fantastic. Excellent. It's a lovely train. It's a lovely <laughs> train indeed. You know, you get to ride it in the movies and now being able to do it in real life, what's it like? It's unbelievable. I mean, it's, uh, I mean the attention to detail and the accuracy are just absolutely second to none. It's brilliant. Yeah, it, it, it's an amazing adventure. Now, guests, when they arrive, as Matthew just said, are going to encounter, come right into Diagon Alley through modern-day London with views of the embankment and several other famous London landmarks that they'll recognize. The first thing they're going to see when they come to London is the night bus. I mean, what an what a unbelievable thing that's going to be, a little interactive activity that happens right there, straight out of the movies. They're going to pass through the brick wall into Diagon Alley, which is going to be filled with things to explore. Have a revolutionary ride system, great shops, great food, as well as a whole bunch of surprises. Why don't you guys take them through the shops? Wow, uh, where to begin? There's so many. Uh, there's Madame Malkin's robes for all occasions. Yep, that's where you get your Hogwarts uniforms, your books, your bags, your house. You don't get your house, your house <laughs> theme stuff, your uh, costumes, so you can even dress like characters from, from the movies there. Yeah, lots of character costumes as well. Um, there's also the Magical Menagerie, which is uh, a nice little shop which is where you can hear the sounds of all wizarding animals. So there's owls, snakes, toads, any little pets for any nice little wizard like yourself, Matt. Thanks, man. <laughs> there's uh, Ollivanders, of course, Gotta which is uh, you know, crammed to the rafters with shelves of wand boxes, pitching this way and that. And uh, that was, of course, the original shop for wand purchases. So that's a separate attraction experience altogether. Yeah. And then there's Scribblis. And uh, Scribblis is a place to shop for your quills, your notebooks, your parchments, your diaries, so any of the young Hermione's out there, they'll, they'll love that place. There's Wiseacres Wizarding Equipment. Now this is a magnificent shop, it's one of the real gems of Diagon Alley and you'll be able to get things like star charts, cauldrons and uh, time turners. And then there's my favourite, which is Weasley's Wizard Weezers, which is number 93 Diagon Alley, which boasts all the best things for all those who want to be up to no good. <laughs> With uh, extendable ears, pygmy puffs, decoy detonators, screaming yo-yos, uh, you know poos, uh, and they're just a few items that you'll find there. What are you know poos? You know poo. <laughs> there we go. And uh, there's also, uh, finally, uh, quality Quidditch supplies. You know, whether you cheer for the Hollyhead Harpies, like myself, or the Chudley Cannons. Like myself. Then uh, the only place in Diagon Alley to get your Quidditch robes, equipment, and the latest model brooms is quality Quidditch supplies. An unbelievable lineup. You know, we opened Hogsmeade in 2010. It became really apparent pretty quickly that people enjoyed that discovery, shopping and dining experience almost as much as they did the attractions. And, and this just brings all that to life in, in Diagon Alley for them. You know, it's amazing. And thanks a lot, you guys, for, for <laughs> taking us through that. Speaking of Hogsby, we're going to make a couple of changes in Hogsby. We're going to expand Honeydukes and take the Zonko's uh, merchandise that you can get there now and bring it over to Weasley's Wizard Weezes, your favorite shop, of course, <laughs> and expand that. You know, Diagon Alley is a place where the wizards not only went to shop, but they went to dine as well. So we want to bring all that food experience to life with places like Florian's Fortescue's Ice Cream Parlor, one of Harry's favorite places, all kinds of different flavored ice cream and frozen treats. And of course, it wouldn't be complete without the Leaky Cauldron, an incredible dining opportunity. Stuart Craig imagined this place. It's just vast and, and detailed and rich and have a menu of its own. So just really excited about 
all that uh, that's coming. But that's not all. It wouldn't be complete to go to Diagon Alley with a peek into the dark side. So, of right. course, we have Nocturne. You guys have been there on set and now in real life. What do you think of Nocturne? Yeah, we went around Nocturne Alley yesterday, and <coughs> you are fully immersed inside it. Uh, very scary. You actually hold Matt's hand at one point. I know, I saw that. Every that was kind of weird. I was, Every well, time. I was a little worried about you guys in there. But yeah, <laughs> but um, it, is, it's, it shows that the uh, Wizarding World isn't all all nice like, yeah. like like you know like in the films that you see you he must not be named uh he's not exactly <laughs> a nice guy yeah and um so it shows that like the darker side to it which is quite a, a cool little yeah i mean it's, it's incredible it shows that contrast you know that there's always on the balance between the good and evil and they're right they live in side by side diagon alley and nocturne alley and you can you can make that journey between the two it's pretty cool it was important for us to take that sort of uh foreboding yet alluring idea and bring that to life so people get the you know, have a peek into that dark side. And of course, there'll be a Borgen and Burke scenario where people, where, you know, people in favor of the dark side can get objects like Death Eater masks and uh, skulls and other sinister items. But of course, you've got to be strong-willed to peek your head in there, but I'm sure everybody will. <laughs> now, you know, back again in, in 2010, when we opened uh, The Wizarding World at Hogsmeade, we also opened Harry Potter and the Forbidden Journey. And when we did so, that created a whole new level of attraction experience. And now we're getting ready to open Harry Potter and the Escape from Gringotts, which is going to take it to a whole new level. It's, uh, it, it, we didn't think it possible, but the, and the task was somewhat daunting to think, you know, can you actually raise the bar on Forbidden Journey? But uh, we, we think we have, and we're well on our way to do that. It is one of the most incredible experiences we've ever created. Harry Potter and the Escape from Gringotts is going to uh, bring the movies to life uh, just like you, you thought when you saw the pictures, you knew right away, like this was a ride waiting to happen, and we jumped all over. It's going to be a multi-century, multi-dimensional experience. That's one of the most exciting technological uh, theme park attractions we have ever created, and for us, uh, that's a mouthful. Definitely sounds like Michael Petit, anyway. Be good. Yeah, yeah, can't wait to do it. We're going to be sharing a lot more about the Wizarding World at Diagon Alley with you uh, in the coming months, uh, but let's leave you with one thought. There's probably a lot you could be doing in the summer of 2010. You should definitely make coming here one of them. It is an unbelievable Harry Potter storytelling experience. And if you're a fan of Harry Potter, you are going to be amazed at the level of authenticity, immersion, detail. And if you're not a fan, when you come, you are surely going to be one by the time you leave. So let's have uh, Ivana and Cherry come back and join us. Hey, Ivana. How was the trip in? Great. Okay. What an you awesome ride. Fun. <laughs> this train is fantastic. Right on. Fantastic. Right on. All right, we're going to take a few questions. How do you stay true to the films, and uh, what partners do you work with to maintain authenticity? Terry, why don't you grab that one? Well, we really raised the bar with The Wizarding World of Harry Potter Hogsmeade a few years ago, where the level of expectation from our fans and the guests was, was such that you know, they wanted to feel like they were transported inside the films, in the movies, and we did this. And this time, we're just raising the bar one more time, going again to Warner Brothers, going to the source with J.K. Rowling and uh, Stuart Craig. It's fantastic. Now you're going to feel again like you really stepped into these stories like nothing else. Yeah, that's great. Uh, next question. Have you seen the uh, new area? Well, you guys have all been there. Vonda, what did you think? You got a chance to walk around? Yes, we did. We got to go uh, see Diagon Alley. And it was really cool. It was special for us because, I mean, people think we've seen it all, but we've right. never seen it all put together. It's kind of like pieces of a jigsaw. I mean, right. we film it even out of sequence and everything. So seeing it put together and going from the London scene into Diagon Alley, was, that was a really cool experience. And the idea of actually taking the train from one to the other. Yeah, exactly. I mean, who ever thought yeah. that, that was going to happen? Yeah. All right, why did you build Diagon Alley at Universal Studios Islands of uh, wait, sorry, why did you build Diagon Alley at Universal Studios Florida instead of Islands of Adventure? Well, you know, conventional wisdom would have probably had us thinking you could just expand Hogsmeade and, and create Diagon, but the fiction really didn't permit that. I mean, they, they are considerable distance apart from each other, mm -hmm. and of course, the train. Right, right. Creating the whole journey between those two places was essential again because it is like that in the stories, in the films. And being able to bring the Hogwarts Express to place so you can board on the Hogwarts Express, go from one place to the other and have the, all the surprises along that journey, that was essential. Yeah, here's an interesting question for you guys. Uh, oh, by the way, these questions are all coming uh, from the fans uh, on okay. the website. So, uh, 
Here's, uh, how is seeing the Wizarding World of Harry Potter different uh, from being on the film set? You, you touched on, Donna touched on it a little bit, but how do you guys see that? I mean, you're always in these fragmented environments, and now yeah. you come into this, you know, full scale. Well, that's it. I mean, you know, when you're making the film, it's, you see fractions of, of the world, uh, and little bits and pieces of it when we're doing individual scenes. But what you guys have created is a, you know, a fully immersive 3D environment. You know, there's stuff going on everywhere, experiences to be had, you know, whichever direction you're looking in. And, um, and that's, that's a unique experience, you know, I, it's not something that, you know, I've ever done before, uh, before here. So it's, uh, yeah, it's pretty special. I mean, I think it's, uh, it's very different to what we grew up with uh, in terms of the experience, but the actual believability and the authenticity is spot on. Yeah, I think cool. we actually found when we first went to the original one in Hogsmeade, we actually discovered like we're actually knocking on the walls because in the sets <laughs> they're all fake right, right. and hollow, <laughs> but these ones were, were real. So. Yeah. Um, we did that again yesterday. If that's one of the things that, okay, yeah, really. I, I saw I, you I knock it around. Solid, yeah, it after, after you let go of Matthew's hand and diagonal, I noticed yeah. that you were knocking it. That's with the other hand. Yeah. <laughs> you know, one of the things like, uh, that, that always amazed me about Stuart was, you know, he, he envisioned all these places as fragments, but in the back of his mind, or in his mind, he already had the full vision of places like Leaky Cauldron and, and the intimacy of the shops. I mean, he had all that kind of put together, and now to be able to help us bring it all to life, it's just, you know. Wow. Okay, before I get carried away on that. Uh, <laughs> can people of all ages enjoy the Wizarding World of Harry Potter Diagon Alley? Yes, everyone can enjoy the, the Wizarding World of Harry Potter Diagon Alley. I mean, the train, the Hogwarts Express, anyone can ride on that train. It's so fantastic to be able to take the whole family on that journey. And, of course, the Gringotts ride, family can ride that. And inside Diagon Alley, all those places to discover, all this magic and the surprises we're yet to reveal. So, yeah. yes, there is something for everyone. As long as you have someone's hand to hold when you go into uh, Nocturne. Oh, Nocturne Alley, yes, yes. A little special place there. Okay, here's a good question for you guys. Uh, which Diagon Alley shop are you most excited about? You went through them all? Well, I know your answer. That's your <laughs> Wow. Um, I'm not sure, actually. I think... Uh, there's some of the, uh, the, the Quidditch stuff will be quite interesting. I'm not yeah. really sure um, what's going to be in there, um, you know, how it's going to be all made, all made all together and stuff. But I imagine you'll be able to get all your different teams and all your sure. different outfits and stuff. It's just going to be, again, it's just an extension of the world. And, uh, and it's going to be wicked, yeah. You're a Weezes guy. Yep. <laughs> it's got to be Weasley's, <laughs> Wizard Weezes. Um, I mean, for me, that was my favorite set out of the whole series because uh, you go in there and there's things going on all over the place yeah. and we had a, I had a quick peek around the door yesterday and it's exactly true to true to what it was yeah. in the three film. Three stories of shelves. To three stories high there, yeah. and there's like a, an 18 foot quite attractive guy taking his hat off. Yeah. Like <laughs> <that>. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so um, yeah I'm, I'm really looking forward to going in there. Awesome. Ivana what about you? Uh, well it's hard to know because what we saw they weren't all finished but um, I heard there was a menagerie where you could buy like Cats and dogs, not real ones. Cats life. and rats and cells. And yeah, I'm really into that. So Excellent. Collect all the toys. <laughs> okay, let's see. Uh, how did you decide which elements from iconographic Diagon Alley to recreate in the Wizarding World of Harry Potter? Right. Well, I mean, there was there were so many iconic places and moments and, and uh, details in the films, and uh, all those layers of details. You know, with Stuart Craig, it was. It was great to collaborate with him to be able to bring that to life. And of course, we listened to our, our, our guests and, and the fans who also asked for a lot of those things. So it, we kind of zeroed in on what was kind of the best and what, what represented this world the best. Yeah, I remember when uh, in 2010 at, at Hogsmeade, uh, one of the first things people talked about, it was so incredible, their reaction was, wow, could you imagine if there was a Diagon exactly. Alley? I think we heard that a, a few times walking around. Uh, here's, a, here's an interesting question. Now, what part of the Diagon Alley are you guys most excited about, Matthew? Um, I think it's the, the, the uh, transition from, from London, uh, you know, the Muggle side of London into Diagon Alley. You know, I spend a lot of time on trains in England, uh, and I go through King's Cross a lot. And what you guys have made here is, you know, it's just absolutely spot on. It looks exactly the same. All the architecture is identical. And, um, and I think that whole process of going, you know, to platform nine and three quarters, you know, going into Diagon Alley, that, that, that transition, it just makes it small, so much more real, so much more uh, grounded in reality, and I think people are going to really love that. And James, where were you? Uh, Gringotts, to be honest Gringotts. with you. When, uh, when you yeah. guys were telling me about that, that sounded cool, and then just seeing what it was yeah, there, that's... Oh, it is that's, incredible. And I, I saw the dragon yesterday. He's, uh, <laughs> did you go into the lobby of the bank where you were out there? I did, yes. Oh, yeah, yeah the, uh, the lobby is, 
It is so true to the how we filmed it. Um, again, it's all real. We did knock on the wall. Um, <laughs> but yeah, you, you are just completely immersed in it, and um, it, it's going to be fantastic. I can't wait. Mine's the same. I think the dragon, they've been talking about yeah. it, and I can't wait to see it. And also in the movie, it always made me kind of sad that he was underground, so I'm happy that he's out on the roof. Right, right. Yeah, we didn't, we didn't talk about that too much, but when you come into uh, Diagon Alley, uh, you know, at the end of the street right. is the bank with the fire-breathing really? dragon, uh, on, yeah. fire dragon on top, just like he escaped and ended up there. So pretty <laughs> incredible. But he, he didn't go too far. He didn't get too far, <laughs> no. He's a, uh, all right, guys, I think that's the last question. Ivana, James, Matthew, thank you very much. It's great having you here. I know the fans love having you guys here, and we certainly do, and we certainly appreciate it. Thank you all for watching today. There's so much more to share with you in the coming months. For now, you can visit our brand-new website, which we are launching today, universityorlando.com slash Harry Potter. Learn more about Diagon Alley. We'll see you real soon. Thanks a lot.